welcome to another session of the Coherent Virtual Open House. My name is Dietrich Tönnies and I'm the product line manager for Powerline Laser Markers. Today I will introduce SmartMap3D technology, uh, which is used for marking curved surfaces. To mark a three-dimensional object, it is necessary to adjust the focus distance in that direction. This allows following the shape of the workpiece when deflecting the laser beam in X and Y. This optical Z-axis is realized by mounting a fast focus module between Galvo scanner and laser head. This enables a recipe controlled focus position adjustment in X, Y, and Z. Scanner mirrors and fast focus module are precisely synchronized in real time. The marking process is trained starting from a CAD drawing of the workpiece. The mark layout is defined using UV mapping to accurately describe how the marked features shall look like on the real workpiece. The fast focus module can be used with a variety of F theater objectives. The travel range of the optical Z axis depends on the focal length of the F theater objective. If the focal length, for example, is 255 millimeters, the spot can be focused within a range of plus minus 12.5 millimeters. The speed of this adjustment is very high. The optical Z axis can travel 1.5 millimeters within one millisecond. UV mapping is a technology commonly used for rendering of three-dimensional computer graphics. The surface of the object is unfolded into a plane and superimposed by the two-dimensional surface texture. In this example, the surface texture is a chessboard pattern and the object is a cube. Once the exact mapping of unfolded surface and texture is defined, the computer can fold back the cube and can calculate a realistic three-dimensional image of the cube with realistic surface texture. UV mapping allows to define any type of projection method. Parallel projection is the easiest and is shown with the left image. If curvature is strong, parallel projection will distort the image, however. It will be better to roll off the image along the surface. The next slides will explain more detail how this is done. This image shows parallel projection and roll off projection and compare how they look when viewed from the side. In this case, uh, the object is a cylinder and it's obvious that the roll off projection is more desirable because the parallel projection is distorting the image. And uh, what this image also shows is the polygon mesh that is defining the 3D model. So this polygon mesh is defined by the CAD drawing. For several standard geometries, the Smart Map 3D editor offers standard models. And the standard geometries are tilted planes, cuboids, cylinders, and cones. In this example, a cylindrical and a conical object are unfolded automatically by the Smart Map 3D software. A two-dimensional marking, so a barcode and a 2D code, are superimposed to the unfolded polygon mesh of the cylinder and are, uh, and are attached to the polygon mesh. So this attachment precisely defines, uh, defines how the layout, so these uh, 2D codes and barcodes, are to be mapped to the surfaces of the polygon mesh. It precisely defines the projection method. Smart Map 3D offers a 3D preview window. This window displays the laser marker, the workpiece, and the marking field in their relative positions to each other. As soon as marking layout and polygon mesh are attached, the 3D preview window shows a realistic illustration of how the marking result will look like on the three-dimensional object. Often, more complex objects than our standard geometries must be marked. In this case, the exact unfolding of the object must be described to the Smart Map 3D software. This can be done using specialized graphics software that unfolds the surface in a certain way, but still allows the user to modify the unfolded surface. So this modification is done by shifting vertices of the polygon mesh, such as squeezing, stretching, or bending the polygon mesh. This demonstration object shows a selection of projection methods. It is obvious that marking this object is not possible in one step because the laser can only partially reach a parameter of it. 
marking is therefore to be split up into several steps. These images show the marking of a cone. First, the text is partially marked, then the rotary axis moves the object and the laser mark, uh, marker continues. And these complex marking sequences are all calculated and controlled automatically by SmartMap 3D technology. SmartMap 3D does also support marking on the fly processes. That means the rotary axis can move at the same time as the laser marker is marking. Both are synchronized exactly with each other. Optionally, SmartMap 3D can be equipped with a triangulation sensor. This sensor takes a three-dimensional image of the workpiece and automatically adjusts the marking position to the image that was captured. This works similar to using a vision system in two dimensions. Now, this way, uh, the workpiece can, doesn't have to be precisely positioned relative to the laser marker. Um, so marking is very much facilitated using this triangulation sensor. The following video demonstrates how SmartMap 3D works in practice. So this video shows how our demonstration sample was prepared. First, the 3D model was loaded into the 3D editor. And you can see that it is possible to move the 3D object inside the 3D model by all six degrees of freedom. You can see the polygon mesh of the model. And on the right side, the polygon mesh unfolded in the 2D editor. Now the text is superimposed and attached to the polygon mesh. And here you can see the preview of the uh, writing on the conical part of the object. This is uh, the real uh, marking process. So between each marking step, the laser, the rotary axis moves the object. And this is the marking of a 2D code on a tilted plane. And this shows the marking of uh, the circumference of the object. So this is a marking inside a hole that is not easily accessible. And this demonstrates marking on the fly. So it's marking simultaneously with a rotary axis motion. So this is it for today. Thank you for attending our open house webcast on Smart Map 3D technology for marking of preform and uneven surfaces. I appreciate your taking some time out of your day with us here at Coherent Munich, and we hope you'd like to join us again for one of our future webcasts. The next one will already be held next week, so stay tuned and goodbye. <laughs>